I'm Steven, the Teen Services Coordinator with the Dim Springs Walker Branch Library. Welcome back to another STEAM Saturdays. Before we get started, let's go over our rules. Rule number one, never do any of these activities without the supervision or permission of an adult. Rule number two, follow the video instructions exactly as presented. Rule number three, never put anything in your mouth or eat anything unless we tell you to do so. And rule number four, when necessary, always come prepared with safety equipment like gloves and goggles. This month you will not need any safety equipment as we are going through some of our learning kits and our STEM kits that you can check out at the library. Today we're going to be learning about and playing around with sound with our ukulele kit. Inside this big old box, if you check it out, you will get a little tuner a book of chords, and the ukulele itself. Inside this little package is the ukulele. So if you've been following along with our STEAM Saturdays, you may remember we did a spooky science with sounding boards where we made a howling spirit. This is very similar. Um, you take a string, attach it to a sounding board, you pluck the string, and it makes a sound. Doesn't that sound a lot better than my howling spirits did? So, <clears throat> first things first, when you check out a ukulele, you will need to know that this is the body, this is the neck, this is the head. The strings go all the way from top to bottom. Um, you will have four strings and they will be attached to these tuning pegs. Um, the top string, you will need to tune to G. The second string, you will need to tune to C. The third string, you will need to tune to E. And the bottom string, you will need to tune to A. Yes, G, C, E, A. And tuning might sound scary at first, but it's super simple. With the aid of your handy dandy tuner, you will clip it to the top. And then before I show you exactly how, how that's going to help you, if you pluck a string and follow it to the tuning peg that it is attached to, if you move the tuning peg to the left or away from you, it'll tighten the peg and make the key go higher. If you, tighten, if you turn it to the left, or I mean, if you turn it to the right or towards you, it'll loosen the peg and make the key go lower. So that tune, I mean that string, we need key to G. And right now it is at a low G. So let me get closer and show you what I mean by a low G. So when I pluck my G, that's a low G. I need to tune it higher by turning the tuning peg away from me. And see how that made my, my G go higher? I want to get it right in the center, and then this string will be considered in tune. So now I'm a little bit too high, and I need to go lower. There we go. That's a perfect G. Now let's go on to C. My C is almost perfect. All right. Now let's go on to E. He's almost perfect. Ooh. And last, my A. There we go. I have all of them in tune. All right, so once you have your ukulele in tune, and you've gone through your booklet and learned some simple chords, you are ready to play a song. Bear with me, I'm still learning. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. And just like that, you are making music. So if you would like to learn ukulele, just like me, 
I'm still learning, and so can you. Check them out at your nearest branch, and I will see you next week for STEAM Saturday.